Marvin and Turner Fadrell are from a family of old-time country and blues musicians. The Fadrell brothers are well known for their music, both in and out of the county. They played at the National Folklife Festival in Europe and at the World's Fair. But as we was coming up as boys, we had to play it on Sunday, you know. Mama didn't have no blues on Sunday. The only time we could do that when she was gone. Why didn't she allow the blues? Well, she was Christian hearted and she just didn't believe in no blues on Sunday. Any other time of the week we played it, she, it didn't bother at all. But on Sunday we had to play gospel. I get your jaw slap one up. One thing about the blues and gospel, blues says, oh baby, and the gospel says, oh Lord. You really got the same chord sometimes. <laughs> what they always call me. I'm 82 years old, going on 83. And I've been making music along, trying to for a long time. I just quit. I used to fly a whole lot smart, travel around, me and a bunch of fellows in the country and play. Me and played for white folks all my life up and down the road yet. We picked up the music and tried to keep it as updated as possible. I guess that's about the closest thing we followed them with. When you say updating the music, what do you mean? Well, we tried to bring up the old songs in this, uh, give us a style. Uh, new generation, we tried to keep the old uh, sound of the first music that we learned as near as possible. I'll tell you, if you're a music maker, you can be tired and broke down. And just go to the house and sit down and eat your supper, and mess around a little bit. Pick up your music, make a little music, it rests you. You get to feeling a whole lot better. It was with me. I don't know how it is with other people, but that sure was with me. I could work all day in any kind of hard work. But when I got to, I could just make a little music. I go to dancing and cutting up around on man, I felt good. Just got all over me, just like anything else. And it's in my, it's in my system, and I couldn't have it in now. His brother, Marvin, works in a factory outside of the county. Turner Fadrell operates a country store and gas station near Stewart. What about times right now that we're living through? Well, right now, I think they're sort of rough, according to what it was five years ago, because half the people are laid off, you know. And uh, then we got a lot on welfare and food stamps, which we didn't have when the industry was good. Well, that makes a big difference. It really makes it tough to make it here, especially from the wages that uh, they're paid here in Vatican. We can survive here better than a lot because we can fall back on the farm, you know. And most of them raise gardens and things like that, but in a city, you can't do that. 
So that's one advantage that we've got. And we can also go out and burn wood and not have to buy so much fuel. It wouldn't be easy, but we, you know, we could do it, go back to the spring and bring you on water and use kerosene lamps, burn firewood, which we are doing now. It's not really that hard. Do you think the county has changed? Oh, yes, it's changed considerably. How has it changed? Uh, well, like the town I came up, we, we didn't have restaurants and things that we, you know, facilities that the, the blacks could use, you know, well, like it is now, you eat anywhere you want to. Because that never did worry us anyway. We didn't pay any attention to it. A lot of people, you know, gets concerned about things like that. It didn't make any difference in us anyway. But, I mean, for the younger generation, it's much better. What makes this county special? Well, I guess we call this home. Mm -hmm. And one thing, the people are nice here. You know, everybody gets along and everybody knows each other. If you need a favor, you can go ask your next door neighbor and he'll help you. Mm -hmm. As we grew up, we were all friends all our lives, and it just grew that way. Uh, and gets the widest spread all the time, you know.